Okay, so we're here in the Europa Hotel for the Big Buzz Southern Comfort Irish Entertainment Awards. As always, in these glamorous and glittering occasions, I'm joined by my glamorous co-host, Miss Tina Calder. Hello. Well, Robin, how are you? I'm all right. It's all gone. Stress is all gone, and I, I'm ready for this now. Can I say, first of all, how gorgeous you look tonight, my Thank darling? Thank you, and I do like your suit. Turn around, let people see. By the way, this jacket <laughs> is supplied by Paranoid. Paranoid Clothing in Belfast. Her great. Well, who supplied your outfit tonight? Dorothy Perkins. <laughs> so anyway, we've got loads coming up on the show. What kind of things are we looking forward to tonight? Well, I'm going to be talking to Mylene Class. Um, I'm going to be talking to Keith Duffy and also Mark Owen, who I love. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. Right? I know, I know. I know, it's quite sad. You're so girly tonight or something? Uh, no. <laughs> So anyway, loads coming up, plus I'll be down here talking to every one of the stars when they come off stage tonight, so we'll see you shortly. Well, here I am with Mylene Class, um, former member of Hearsay, now a huge classical artist. So how, how have you been finding today then? Today's been brilliant. We've been really well looked after. Even the driver that came and collected us, really friendly, but everyone says the people here in Ireland are friendly, so it's been great. Are you are you due over doing any promotional tours or anything this year? Well, we're going to be doing a lot of promotion um, towards Christmas, so I'll be back. But um, also there's a huge charity gig that I'm doing over in Dublin um, on the 17th of September. So yeah, a lot of playing, a lot of practice. What's the charity gig then? Um, Keith Duffy is raising a lot of money for um, his autistic charity, so I think um, a lot of people are going to come over and support it, so come on down. And you're about to release again. Uh, this time I hear there's a few vocals on the classical album. Well, the weird thing was so many people were asking, when well, you've done a classical album, why didn't you put any vocals? I did put some on, but I wanted to just show how you know exciting the piano could be, because not many people do piano albums, except people like Darth Punk. So I gave it a go and I really enjoyed it and this time around I just want to do something again, again you know, that you're progressing, doing something a bit different. And when does that come out then? When should we expect to see that? The second album's going to be out just after Christmas. So I love you, this is great. <laughs> Ask me more. <laughs> just after Christmas. And are you intending, are you intending to have a bit of a party tonight then? Tonight I hear that you guys really know how to party so that's the reason I came down. <laughs> you promised me a party. Yeah. Get one. So we'll, we'll be back here at 5 a.m. to see if Mylene actually had her party. Um, and over to Robin then. So the glitz and glamour continues here at the Europa Hotel. I've been joined by another glittering celebrity, this time Malachi Kush. Hello. Hello, Robin. It's good to be here and good to see you looking so lovely as always. Thank you. And may I say, you're not looking bad yourself. I, I like this suit. I've got a certain problem, though, with my, uh, with my attire tonight. Travel down and, uh, you know, you put a lot of effort into coming to the Big Buzz Awards. Had my suit all sorted out, and what did I come without? My shoes. So where did you get the shoes from? I had to phone a friend of mine, Michael Rush, and I uh, had to ask him to bring a pair of shoes along, thinking he was the same size as myself. But I'm a size 12, and he brought along a pair of lovely size 10s, and my feet are killing me. So you're squashed into those shoes tonight. You're going to be so comfortable you w when you walk on stage later on tonight. It's a bit like having a girlfriend. <laughs> So talking about girls, there's plenty of gorgeous young ladies here tonight. Any caught your eye so far? Do you know what? One has caught my eye, but I haven't a shot, shot at it at all. Mylene Class is absolutely beautiful. She looks absolutely gorgeous. So are you going to try it on with her later on? Uh, I suppose that depends on how many vodkas you buy me. <laughs> Come here, you, you might have an inroad there. You might be fit to say, you know, Malachi's a nice lad from a uh, good background. And but I know you're not. That's a fair point, but could you not lie for me? Okay, here we are with one of our regulars at Big Buzz. It's Keith Duffy. Um, what makes you keep coming back to this? Yeah, Barry from Big Buzz has got really dodgy photographs of me. <laughs> no, no, I always come. I, I presented the awards for a couple of years, and I've been here from the very first one. So, Barry, I, this year I couldn't make it, actually. I know I'm here, but I, I couldn't. I, I wasn't in the position that I wasn't going to be able to make it. I was speaking to Barry and I explained that I haven't had a holiday in a long time and I wanted to see the kids and have a bit of fun. And he just said, but look, you've been at every one. If you don't turn up at this one, you know, it could be a bad omen, you know. So uh, please, please, will you try and make it? So I had a chat with the wife, told her that they wanted me to come along because they were afraid of, you know, me being here every year and then not being here might be a bad omen, I don't know. So Lisa said, well, go and do what you got to do. So I flew in this afternoon. 
And as the years have gone by, sort of your entourage has grown, and now we've got half of the cast of Coronation Street turning up with you. Do they do they use you as an excuse to come over and party? Everybody over in Manchester working in Corrie loves to come over to Ireland for a drink. Everybody always looks after them very, very well. They find the uh, the hospitality fantastic. So, like you said, any chance of a, a trip to Dublin or to Belfast, they're there. And I'm sure they'll be over for your big charity event in September as well. Yeah, when, yeah. when is that? The 17th of September, Friday the 17th of September. I've got my, uh, my annual event. And uh, this year is looking better than ever. We've got a lot of people supporting us this year, and hopefully we're going to make a lot of money for charity this year. What are, what are you hoping to make this year? I don't like to put a figure on it, because everybody works really, really hard, and if you put a figure on it and we don't reach the target, then people will feel that it wasn't a success. And it's always a success. So being diplomatic about it, I have my own ideas, my own projections, but we'll wait to see what we make on the night. But whatever we make, it will go to a very, very worthy cause. And obviously, Coronation Street's going very, very well with, for you. You've got a really steamy, uh, you know, script at the minute. How, how, did, how, did, how do you handle those kind of things with a wife and child? Uh, well, I have a wife and two kids now. And they're not kids, well, they are kids, but they're not children. They're, well, Jordan's eight and me is four. But, um, it's, it's, you know, it's part of the job. You've got to do it. You've got to stay as professional as you possibly can. Um, my wife is very supportive of, of what I do. She understands there's parts of it that, you know, she wouldn't obviously love. But I've got to do my job, and that, that involves steamy roles. And uh, we, we survive. We get by. And are you heading back out to the sun then tomorrow when you finish? Oh, no, unfortunately not. We've got two weeks out there, which is long, long enough uh, as far as Coronation Street is concerned. So, no, back to the books on Monday morning. Okay, here we are. We've just approached the table of Mr. Yuri Geller, international spoonbender. And we're going to go off and see if he's having actually a good night. I have a complaint. You have a complaint? Did you notice that there are no spoons near my plate? <laughs> How do they expect me to eat? Because we were afraid, Yuri, you see. We were afraid of what you might do to the spoons. I know that. And, and I guess I'll have to borrow this spoon. Later on, I'm going to bend up. Really? Because everybody's been asking me all day, will he be bending a spoon on stage oh, yeah, tonight? No problem. As long as I'll get everyone's support, because it's, it's mind power and I need to be in the right mood. Do you, do you ever get sick of people asking you to bend spoons? All the time. <laughs> Luckily for me, no one really walks with a spoon in his pocket. So, But um, I'm very pleased to be here for this Buzz Award. And... Um, Lovely people, great evening. Hopefully the food will be good. Are you excited, both of you? We are indeed. We're getting all into it. Here we are with Titty Von Tramp, the glamorous. And we, we must get a hold of these legs. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Don't forget the logo. Misbehaving, misbehaving logo. Thank you very much. Is that paying for my dinner? Love it, love it. So you're here every single year. Why do you keep coming back, Eddie? Um, because there's such a good mix of people, and it's a really good award ceremony. And I like, I like Barry. And I love his wife. I love that they're a really nice couple, and they always keep asking me, so I say yes. And are you up for an award yourself tonight? Tonight I'm presenting an award, so I am not up for one, but I'm presenting. So I'm giving, I'm actually giving something away rather than taking. That's not like it. Okay, so we're here now with the gorgeous girls from Clea. Hello. Hello. You're looking very nice. Thank you. You're looking very nice yourself. You? So anyway, have you been in Belfast before? We haven't been in Belfast before. It's our first time. We'll be definitely coming back, won't we, girls? All right. So you're having a good time so far? We are. It's wicked. Yeah, the atmosphere seems great. All right. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight on stage? Ooh, the best. Because they're at Table Buddies. And were you big Revs fans before you came here? No, we're not, but we are now. Yeah, they've That's converted. Good. Have they tried to chat you girls up yet, have they? Yes, they have. They've been trying to get our number. They're wearing their cap especially. <laughs> no, we're, looking we're, food fight. we're looking forward to, Mark, to see Marco in as well. Because right. he's lovely. Okay. Nice boy. So you girls are going to be performing later on. Are you a little bit nervous? Yes, I yes. am. Are it's you? like people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Which usually happens, but I'm still nervous. All right. And what songs is going to be singing tonight? We're singing um, our two singles, which was Stuck in the Middle and Download It. Download It was a massive, massive hit for you, wasn't it? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we really, we, we like Download It, don't we? 
little boogie to download it. And I hear you're all massive across the world now. You've been touring all over the place, haven't you? We have, yeah. We're heading out to Europe in the next few months, um, promoting our album. And we've got a single coming out hopefully in January, so we're really looking forward to that. Great stuff. Well, girls, enjoy the performance later and enjoy the rest of your night. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. I've just come running off stage, actually, after presenting a very special award to these guys here. It was uh, the Big Buzz Pepsi Battle of the Bands competition last Friday night, and we had so many great local bands taking part. <laughs>
winners. This is Elation. Hello, guys. First of all, how did it feel winning the thing last Friday night? Great, so it was. I mean, like, uh, we were actually told at one point, oh, you better get your gear and pack up home. So we were actually backstage packing up, and then all of a sudden it was like, no, 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 hold on. Went outside and we won. So it was, it was great, like, it really was. And what was the feeling like out there on stage, performing in front of so many celebrities, journalists, people from the industry? How did it feel out there? It was great. It was great. It's not that often you get a chance to play like in the room full of so many high-profile people, like you know, hit them all at once. You know, it was great. It was great. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of radio the DJs and people that got maybe targeting with our new EP that's coming out next month. Uh, you know, so uh, it was great. It was great to just to, like, get that exposure. Like you know, it's not often you do get the chance. It was brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a very energetic performance from you, wasn't it? You were jumping around all over the stage, all over the tables at one point, weren't you? I blame Adidas because uh, since I started wearing Adidas goodies, I've sort of got into that frame of mind. Uh, but uh, as you can see, I've got a brand new spanking pro there. And uh, yeah, and it's just, I just think you got to have energy in your performance. If you don't, I mean, you're going to kill the crowd, especially when nobody's heard any of your songs. You've been very quiet. So you are in the, in the corner here. Tell us, tell us about Elation. How did you all get together? How long have you been going for? That kind of thing. Well, we all knew ourselves back from school and stuff, but we've only been trying to get the band going for the past couple of years. But started off just doing acoustic acts and just trying out the songs and things, and then doing acoustic uh, gigs. And then we got started getting full band together, and after about 13 bass players, Pete finally joined, and and it all kicked off then. So sort of last last May time, and we've been just gigging all over the country and just haven't looked back since. Just trying to get the CD done and releasing it now ourselves. So when do we get our hands on the new material? Um, 27th September is supposed to be a release date, uh, pending and everything goes well, uh, but it'll be definitely by October. Uh, we're trying to hit as many outlets as we can and uh, trying to give it a massive campaign so that anyone who does see it will buy it and we get even a better response at our gigs and stuff, so it'll be great, yeah. Okay, and finally, what about long-term plans for Elation? At the minute, you know, it's just get the EP out, tour it in October. We've got plans to go to London in December. It'll be our first visit to London, play a couple of showcase gigs, test the borders over there, and then start making regular visits to London, you know, maybe every two months, three months, you know, for a week at a time, just to try and expose ourselves to, I don't know, expose ourselves, that sounds very bad. <laughs> but you never know, you get a few pints of Stella, and you never know, keep that camera rolling, you never know what can happen in a few hours. But just trying to get, you know, generate a bit more interest from record labels. You know, we've had Sony looking at us recently, and, you know, it's just basically trying to get as many record labels interested in the band as possible to try and clinch that all-important record deal, you know? That's what it all comes down to, is getting the deal. All right, well, great stuff. Good luck with the future. And once again, congratulations on uh, winning the first award tonight. Elation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. So once again, a big well done to Elation for winning uh, the Big Buzz Pepsi Battle of the Bands contest. We've got Claire Mara from Pepsi here now. Hello. Hi there, how are you? I'm very well. Enjoying your night so far? Absolutely. It's been a great night so far. 100%, yeah. And what about the guys from Elation? Fantastic. Really, really energetic. I think they got the audience going, especially just because they were the first act and it was really important to get you know, the energy up. And it's hard to get you know, such a big crowd. They might know them and they were very, 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 very energetic, as I say, especially the lead singer. I think they'll go places. All right, so it was the first ever Battle of the Bands contest. It was a great success, wasn't it? Absolutely. As you know, um, as you may know, Pepsi has a huge connection with music, um, but more pop music. But really, the idea is to try and get the, the idea of music to a local level. And I think the Battle of the Bands is a really, really good idea. It gets local talent who are unsigned out there and getting a chance to showcase their music. So I think it was a great success. So hopefully we'll do it again next year. And I saw you rocking away last week. Are you a big rock chick? I am, yeah. Be more of a rock chick than a pop chick, I think. So, yeah, definitely. So, I, I'm glad that Elation won because that'd be more my style of music. Yeah, right, definitely. So. so, we'll definitely be back next year for another Battle of the Bands? Yes, indeed. And I hope Pepsi will be there. Yeah, absolutely. Great stuff. Thank you, Claire. All right, so I'm still backstage, and uh, this time I'm with a man who I'm sure you'll recognize from Coronation Street. It's uh, Trevor Dwyer Lynch. Hello. Hi, Robin. How are you? I'm all right. Welcome back. You were here last year at the awards as well, weren't you? I was, yes. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, pleased to be back. Great crack. Love it. Love it. So will you be getting extremely drunk later on during the party? No, I never do things like that. Um, just on still water and um, lemon juice, obviously. Yeah, I believe you. Anyway, so you're back this year presenting an award. Which award were you presenting? Yeah, um, I was... Uh, 
Best Music Pub, yes, sorry. Best Music Pub, I was trying to find my words to say, yeah, I was uh, glad to uh, present the award of Best Music Pub. So I really do get all the glamorous jobs here at the awards. I've been joined now by one of uh, Northern Ireland's top actresses. I love her a bit. It's Olivia Nash. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? I'm very well. It's one of those ones I have to bend down. I know. Kind of like get to the same. Mm. Oh, kind of get to the same height as you. <laughs> anyway, you've just come off stage yeah. and you've picked up an award. I know, and it's so exciting because you got me here under false pretenses this evening. <laughs> I always love the awards. It's absolutely fantastic to come and to be invited to a beautiful meal. Everything was gorgeous. And then you had a wee sneaky and you said, now you might have to present an award, Olivia. And I said, well, that's all right. But I got one. <laughs> <laughs> so you picked up the Best Comedy Act Award yes. for the Hole in the Wall Gang. Yes, and of course, yes. you're coming back on TV soon with the show, yes, aren't you? Yes, we are indeed. At the moment, uh, we are out on location for Give My Head Peace. And we start recording in the middle of September. And I imagine it'll be going out on air about the end of September. So right. looking forward to that. Great stuff. So All right. And of course, you're back on stage in here later on. You're presenting yes, a very special award, aren't you? I know one you're going to yes. like very much. Oh. <sighs> what sexy is <laughs> I'm the only one they can trust, actually, to <laughs> present it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so have you seen many sexy men floating around here tonight? Oh, lots. Okay. Yeah, well, you first. Woo! Woo! Oh, my God, I've, I've pulled already. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled Ms. Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Olivia, once again, congratulations Thank on you. winning the award and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you very much indeed. And as I said in there, the boys aren't getting their hands on this one, but I will tell them right, that yes, they yes. did win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Rob. You're a sweetheart. Okay, here we are backstage with uh, the fabulous Yuri Geller. How, how's it been going for you tonight? Are you enjoying great, yourself? I'm enjoying myself. The food was delicious. Uh, the atmosphere is great. People are nice. What else can I ask for? Is it everything you expected from an award ceremony in Northern Ireland? Even more, yeah. There is that. You know, I've been in big, big ceremonies and award givings from the Oscars to the... I mean, you name it, I've been there. But there is something here that is uh, almost like a, a, a one unit, a family unit, and uh, I love that. Um, obviously, being as big as you are, I mean, you don't have to come to events that are as, uh, you know, as local as this. What, what made you agree to it? Uh, I love Northern Ireland. I've been here, what, two weeks ago um, in Londonderry. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a great uh, opportunity for me and my wife, Hannah, to come here. Um, we walked all over Belfast today because I'm a runner, a jogger, a walker. And yeah, it's nice, and I'm flying back tomorrow. And also, you were in Ireland recently um, filming for a new movie. Um, I know I've asked you this before for newspaper, but uh, if you tell the audience, uh, what, what did you think about you know, your, your role in the horror movie? Um, no, it's not a horror movie. It's actually um, a, a thriller, but it's, um, <laughs> I think it's going to be a big film, uh, especially if it'll get a studio distribution. And um, I, I don't want to talk about it a lot because it'll be a big surprise. And I'm very sort of uh, flattered to be a part of the film, not only from the acting point, which was a very little, you know, uh, part for me, but the pr producing of the film. And it's great. Uh, Ireland has given us uh, everything that we asked for. And what would be your dream role then? Well, I always wanted to be a horror film actor. I always envied uh, Boris Karloff and Lon Chaney and uh, uh, Christopher Lee. I want to be a horror film actor. Please, if a producer is listening or a director, get me to be Dracula. Okay, here we are with Wonderlust. Guys, how's, how's it been tonight for you? It's been really good. We've enjoyed the whole experience. It's been really exciting, yeah. Did, did you ever expect to, to get this far when, when you first started out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, Tina, you're not yeah. going to have a hair left in your head, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your dream But when, when you first started out? What, what was going through your mind? To uh, really do your own music and try yeah. to pursue it and get as far as we can, doing our own thing and trying to blend in with some sort of genre of music that's out there at the minute, but have our own individuality as well. And individuality is certainly what you have. Who does the styling? It's fabulous. Oh, uh, well, it's a mixture, really. Yeah, team Manuel. Team Manuel. Potty, potty and me, really. <laughs> <laughs> he makes them a nice save there already, aren't 
They say if they're good or not. When's your next release? Have, have have you released recently, or are you about to release? We did a couple of months ago with a song called Breakdown. It was it was a great little success for us. The next project we have is the two songs that we done tonight, but we can't. We're not allowed to say when they're going to be released. But the next thing we have is a what we have next week. We've got a festival in Tyrone, and then. Then George Jones, then Newry, and then we're off to Portugal next year for a m massive big Irish festival, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Well, and it's not often you see bands these days actually playing their own instruments. It's a breath of fresh air. What's the ultimate dream? To be a household name, very much so. Okay. So watch this space. Wonderlust are coming your way. Okay, so I said I get all the glamorous jobs on this <laughs> show, and they don't come any more glamorous than the girls who are with me now. It's the girls from Clea. Hello. Hello. So you just come rushing off stage there. Yeah. You're out there performing. What was it like out there tonight? It was fantastic, actually. It was a great crowd. It's quite scary for me because, like, because I'm from Manchester and all the Corey crew. We're yeah. right there. I was thinking, oh my god, I watch you every night, <laughs> and now you're there watching. Oh my god, it's quite scary. Me. So there's a lot of sexy men out there tonight as well. If any caught your eye? Yes. <laughs> Haven't they been following me around? And, and these guys, there was these guys like trying to get me buy me drinks. When they? The Irish charm, a little bit Irish accent, you see. Yeah. Really like it. We seen Mark Owen before when he was just doing yeah. his, 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 tech, his doing his sound and all that and. I was like that, oh, little Mark Owen, he's dead sweet. But we found out his age today and we couldn't believe it. What age is he? 32. <gasps> he just apparently... He looks really... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark. But he looks so, like, little and petite and really young. Aw, little Marky. Hello. <laughs> he's going to think I'm a right idiot now. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> brunette, any, any brunette nets out there want to join a band? We're getting rid of her. All right, anyway, somebody else I'm going to drag in here. I see Mark Somerville floating about hey. somewhere behind the thing there. And I know, Mr. Somerville, lo I know, and you just love to be in the middle of lovely ladies, don't you? Yeah. Especially in From Clear. Lovely, uh. lovely ladies. I've met these guys. I've come, how many times? I've interviewed yeah. once, and you've been on stage with me once. Mm. Yeah. Could be on stage. Yeah. All right. There you go. I'm taller, and I've got dark hair. Actually, I'm not so dark, lovely. <laughs> No, apparently, apparently recently in an interview she said that uh, she wouldn't go for a man who wasn't taller than her. So I'm, I'm working on that. The dark hair, the dark hair. Dark, she said dark hair, but tall. Yeah. So, you know, we're working on it. Apparently in America you can pay like, you know, £10,000 to be stretched. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. So since I know you, I can ask this question. Which one out of the three? That's a lovely Amy. And look, he's blushing. Mark Somerville is blushing. Look, Keith Semple's here from, uh, from obviously, uh, One Tree Voice. Is he here? Yeah, he's here tonight with his girlfriend. And, you, you know, passed on a message last time, didn't you? Yeah, and Keith, Keith you know, knows that I love Amy. Oh. He loves Whoa. her. He wants to smooth her. Oh, no, I just want a hug. Oh. Want a hug? Yeah. Great stuff. Thank you, Clea, and thank, thank you, Mark Somerville, as well. Thank you. Thank Okay, so we're still backstage, and uh, this time I've been joined by the gorgeous Colleen Nolan. Hello. Hello. How are you, my darling? I'm fine, thank you. I think I'm probably the only one that's still sober. And will you be getting drunk later on? I hope so. Very much. Okay. Southern Comfort Neat, I think, I'm drinking at the moment. <laughs> oh my God. Why not? And we've also been joined... Excuse me. We've also been joined by the man who won the best... Irish radio personality. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Hugo Duncan. Hello. Ah, Robin. God bless you. <laughs> you know it's Jerry Anderson. Hello, everyone. Colleen Nolan gave me this award. This is the first award I've ever presented. Really? Yeah, and um, I was really, really nervous, and I'm so glad it was him because he's a nutter. <laughs> and it's great. The swap numbers and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did it. Oh, my God. So there we go. So you're pl pleased with your award. You're back here, you're back on Northern Ireland Radio, you're back on City Beat. Is the show going well for you? No. You see, that's your, I have to give it back. Uh, yeah, it's doing all right. It's doing okay. Colleen apparently is going to be on the show next week, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, really, will you come on the show? There you next go. Week. Oh, I'm on, I'm on holidays. Don't worry, because I'm doing the show next week. 
Hi, Shona. Um, how, how have you been going tonight? Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I've just finished performing so I can, you know, relax now and, and enjoy the rest of the entertainment because I've been a bit nervous, but you can get a drink in there. Yeah, maybe get one in. <laughs> I've got to be good. Yeah. What's happening for you at the minute? Well, I'm just promoting my album, which is out now, Beautiful View, so just busy doing some promotion for that and radio and, you know, up and down the roads and stuff. It's a hard old slog, the promotional tour. It's early mornings and stuff, so yeah, it's tough because I like my sleep. <laughs> How long now have you been working in the industry? Um, I was signed in 2001, so it's, you know, it's quite a, a long process recording an album and promoting it, so. But it's nice to perform. That's what I do, so. <laughs> do, do you find it's any different now than it was when you first started out? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I haven't really performed that much, you know, I was, I was in a show in the West End for a year and apart from that I haven't really, you know, done that, that, that much um, apart from, you know, promoting this album and stuff, but that's what I do and I, you know, I really, really desperately want to get out there and perform and I've just come off tour with Donny Osmond, which was really cool, it was really Hi, cool, cool. He, was, he was really wicked, so um, I had a great time and his fans are absolutely, they're so loyal to him, but they were, you know, they were really good to me as well, so that was a great experience for me being out, you know. What would you say is the biggest thing you're looking forward to at the moment, is there anything coming up? Um, well, there's a few things in the pipeline that I, I can't really talk about, but I'm very excited, I assure you. <laughs> I'm very Are there any duets in there? There might be. Um, not at the moment, but I, I'd like a duet with Sting, if you can organise that. <laughs> that okay. Sting, if you're Sting, watching. If you're watching We're looking for a duet here. <laughs> Your ultimate dream, then, other than Sting, what would that be? Um, just hitting my own headline gig. You know, someday soon, that would be nice. To, you know, it's, it'd be really nice to perform in front of a, a, you know, a group of people that have come to see me, you know, specifically have paid tickets, you know, to come and see me. Um, because then you know, you know, they're on your side and they, they love you and it's, you know, be a nice feeling. So that would be nice. The point in Dublin or, you know, the Odyssey here would be great. Oh, I'm sure it won't be long. <laughs> well, anyway, have a good night and uh, enjoy the booze while it's free. I will, I'll try. <laughs> Okay, here we are backstage again with Shane Lynch this time. So how's it been tonight for you? Ah, oh, it's been fantastic. I've had an amazing time here. Um, I flew in tonight about 7 o'clock and my plane was late, but uh, I got here on time anyway for the show and it's, it's been amazing. We can tell you're going into acting now, I can't wait. That wasn't bad, was it? You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm practicing, I am, I'm practicing. Now I've had a good night, so I have. It's been great. It's been and you're, you've just performed there, have you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we performed them. Um, yeah, no, you know what I mean? Them lads always a hard crowd when you do corporate events, you know, they're not there for anybody but the alcohol. Yeah. And uh, now they're having a good time. We just go and we do what we do and it's cool. Yeah, that's two performances in Belfast in a week. Um, are you coming back next week? You know, <laughs> if we're invited back next week, we'll always be here next week, so we will. Now, Belfast is always a good place for me anyway, in general. I've always had uh, fantastic support throughout the fans of Boys Zone and stuff. So, um, yeah, man, if, as long as they still want us, we'll be coming. And you're here with your band Red Hill tonight. Um, when, when are you hoping to release next? Well, Red Hill is kind of an early project, as in we kind of released it here in, uh, to do with the Big Buzz Awards and um, Battle of the Bands and Awards tonight. And, I mean, we're not planning until next year, to be honest. That was just like a little thing we'd done for Barry, obviously the boss of the Big Buzz, and we just said, yeah, now we'll come along and perform. So hopefully next year, 2005, when schedule allows it. At the moment, I'm just busy, um, mainly to do acting and to do it general theatre roles and stuff like that, so it's all good. Yeah, and we're about to see you on, on Sky One and Dream Team. Um, how are, you, are you enjoying that? No, it's been different. It's been a different uh, buzz for me, um, a completely different direction, obviously. I, I've kind of looked at Keith Duffy and thought, well, you know, my man's doing all right. I, I can, I can have too. a little go off of that, you know. And it's been going well for me. The lads that I've been working with with Dream Team, they've been, they've been good. You know, I'm not an actor, and they know that, and they've treated me nice. Then again, you do play a millionaire businessman who loves fast cars. It's, you know, it's not that far away from you. It's not really a stone throw from what I am, um, other than I think he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire, which I'm not. Um, and I kind of fly about in helicopters, and I'm always in a suit, short tie, looking slick, and I'm definitely not that kind of man on the, the street, you know what I mean? I don't think I even own a suit, but there you go. Do you know, we go and delve in his wardrobe, see if we can find a former boy's own suit in there, at the bottom of the cupboard might, in the nostalgia a, bin. A jacket or two, you know what I'm saying? Because I like my own long uh, jackets. I, I did sweep in the floor and that, you know. Uh, but that's about it. You don't find a short and tie, that's for sure. 
And what's coming up for you in Ireland? Have you any other gigs or events or? No, not in Ireland. Um, most of my kind of work relation is back in the UK at the moment to do with the Dream Team and to do with certain theatre work I'm doing and pretty much studio, studio with the lads, you know, and it's all based in the UK, so it's keeping me there for the minute. Yeah. And obviously Red Hill, you've said before, um, it's a project rather than a, than a certain type of music. Uh, what would you say to people who haven't heard you, what should they expect when they eventually do hear it on the, on the video? I don't know, to be honest. Um, it's something which we love doing, and I think a lot of artists out there are trying to uh, do something for everybody else. And really, we're just doing it for ourselves, and hopefully people will like it. That's great. Thanks very much for coming along today. Hope you enjoy yourself. So, once again, I get all the glamorous guests here backstage at the Big Buzz Irish Entertainment Awards. And look at this. Philomena Begley, Ireland's queen of country, is here. Hello, my darling. How are you doing, Robin? And it's lovely to be here with you. You gave the audience a big surprise out there tonight, didn't you? Well, I did because um, I met Keith Duffy and Shane Boyzone whenever they started out. Uh, I don't know how many years ago it is, but... Uh, I was on the same show that they went on, and they were on dancing that night. And I met Shane and just uh, when I was coming out, and I said, Shane, I says, or not Shane, uh, Keith, I says, uh, I says, you probably don't remember me, I says, Philomena. He says, don't say nothing, he says. And he, he called Yuri Yeller over, and he said, I want to tell you something about this lady here. And he says, we, there was, we often talked about it. And he says, uh, the best advice, he says, you ever give to us, and we never forgot it. It, it was a song that I, that I used to sing. It was, it's called, Be Nice to Everybody on Your Way Up. You're going to meet them again coming down. Yeah. And honest to God, I, I, was, honest, I was over the moon about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. That was great. All right, so you were picking up uh, the award for Snow Patrol tonight, the best well, Irish rock. Snow Patrols, but sure, I said that they were going to come to their house. Like, if they come, I wouldn't have a clue where they were going, but... Uh, I don't know who's going to take this award, but uh, <laughs> I might even take it home with me. Why not? Show, it, show it to my children. Put it in your little mantelpiece. <laughs> oh, so, uh, I'll put it in my mantelpiece. Are you enjoying yourself tonight? I'm having a great night tonight, so I am. Are we going to have a better night later? We are, because I just can't wait. But no, I, I, I can can't wait actually for it all to be over. But when it's all over, I just want to sit down. I mean, you're just going to have a little drink. But I also have a uh, Jerry Fish. And I'll tell you what, they were absolutely fantastic. Hey, late up the night as far as I've been concerned because I like that kind of music. It's, that's my kind of music. But everything was a great night and I have to say thank you very much. And it's, it was a pleasure to be here at the Buzz Awards. And like, you know, for me, especially after 42 years, you know, it's nice. It's a nice wee thing for me to be here. Philly, it's I must be the only old one here the night. <laughs> no, Jerry Anderson's here as well. Oh, well, well <laughs> me and Jerry must be the only two old ones here the night. Anyway, no or should I say two nights? Anyway, no, Philly, it's great to have you here tonight and enjoy the rest of your night, all right? Thank you See very you much. Later. Thank all you. Right. Can I have a little kiss? No. I got a kiss from Philomena Bagley. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the moment I've been waiting for all night. One of my teenage idols, it's Mark Owen. And so, hi, how are you? Very well indeed. Are you having a good night tonight? Lovely, it's great. It's a nice atmosphere. Some good people here. I've seen some old friends. The old uh, boys' own guys are knocking around. And uh, it's nice to see them again. I haven't seen them for a while. And uh, no, I think there's a really good atmosphere. Everybody's, everybody's had a few beers now. The, the atmosphere is definitely livening up. It's, uh, it's exciting. Is this, this is the first time you've been to the Big Buzz Awards? It is. Is it what you expected? Um, I didn't have a clue what to expect, to be honest. Um, when, I turned, when I saw what it was, I was glad that it was this kind of laid back, everybody having a bit of a laugh and having a bit of fun. But I didn't really know what it was going to be like when I, when I came here. It's a lot more, um, I don't know, a lot more fun than I, I didn't want it to be too co kind of contemporary and too like... Do you think it does it differ a lot from the maybe the award ceremonies you would have been used to? There's more Guinness, that's for sure. More Guinness coming out of the tap. Um, I don't know. I I I just think there's a, a good atmosphere, and and I think the nice thing about here is that it's quite personal, so it's not. So you get to meet everybody yeah. and say hello to everybody. Where some of them you do, you don't really get a chance to see the people who are, are kind of here and winning the awards. You don't get a chance to talk to them or whatever, you know. But here it's a lot more kind of personal than that. So that, that's a nice 
thing about this, this show. And what, what kind of releases have you got coming up for us? Uh, what can people expect to see coming from you? Um, well, a new album, really. That's kind of what I'm working towards. I I've, I've came back from L.A. to do this today. Um, I've just made a, making a new record out there on a Sunset Sound, which is an amazing studio where people like The Doors have recorded and uh, Led Zeppelin and uh, The Stones. So it's a real kind of old style studio and I'm having a great time out there. But it's nice to come over here and come away for a couple of days and clear your head. And, uh, so just a new record, really. That's the, the next thing, going to be about October time. And, and what can people expect? Is it the same sound as, as the previous album or are we going in a different direction then? Um, I think... In a sense that, you know, it's... Hey! Hey! It's me dad. He wants to take me home. Um, but I, I think that maybe with this album, the, the biggest difference is it's a, a little bit freer. Sometimes I, I think a studio environment can be quite closed and quite clinical. And, uh, and I think with this record, it's a lot more kind of free. And I've been working with some great musicians over there. Um, who have brought some great things to the songs and it's just been a, a really nice atmosphere and, it, and it, although it, I'm making a record sometimes you go to the studio it feels like oh here's the producer and this is your time in the studio it feels like I'm making a record with mates and I like that kind of feeling about it's it. A lot more laid yeah, back, it's easy, more chill, easy yeah. going kind of yeah. thing. And uh, when, when are we likely to see you over here performing, you know, in concert for us? Is that likely to happen this year or next? Um, this year I hope, to be honest, towards the end of this year um, probably November, December time, I'd really like to come over and do some shows. I wanted to come here with the last album, but um, unfortunately, I kind of, uh, it didn't kind of work out. But with this album, I'd really like to come over. We'll find some nice little venue. We can go in and uh, plug in some guitars and have a bit of fun and hopefully have a great night. So this year, definitely, is in my head, we'll be back here. Because we always get left out over here. So he's made a promise. We've got to remember that. <laughs> We're holding him to it. Thanks very much, Mark, for nice coming along. It's great to meet Take you. Care. Okay, we're coming towards the end of the night, and I think that's quite evident, because Joe McBlain is falling all over the place. Too much Southern comfort. <laughs> so, guys, uh, you, were you presenting an award? Because you certainly weren't getting one. No, I didn't get one, because uh, I've already had two in the last three years, and I'm just fed up having them. So, still backstage and still here with the most glamorous woman in the place, this time the lovely Denise Hagen. Hello. Hi, Robin. How are you? I'm all right. You're so gorgeous tonight. Oh, thank you very much. I'm feeling rather gorgeous, I must say. Good. And you've just come off stage yeah. and you're a very happy girl, aren't you? I'm extremely happy. You know, I'm very humble to receive an award. I think when people vote you in, you know, when the public vote you in, you've really got to... You really got to appreciate it. So I'm delighted. I'm having a great night and really, really having a good time, yeah. Good, good. So it was the best traditional act award. And then you get up there yes. tonight and you didn't do traditionally type stuff, did no, you? No, I'm a bit of a chameleon, you know, because sometimes I like folk music, sometimes I like trad music. But tonight we kind of went more the Rolling Stones route. Right. So we had a little, a little bit of rock and roll. I thought it was in keeping with the evening. So, nice yeah, we had a good time, you know, and I like to do a little bit of everything. So okay. it's all good. Now your album, Tangerine mm -hmm. Moon, is doing so well. I hear it on the radio all the time. I play it all the time. Actually. Yes, you're so very good. Actually, you play it all the time. And uh, Northern Ireland has been really, really kind to me. People have been great. And uh, yeah, I'm thrilled. It's always a, an extra bonus to be accepted in your in your home territory, I suppose. So yeah, we're looking forward to going to the UK now in, um, in September time. Okay. So yeah, we'll just see what happens from there. But tonight's a fantastic night. It's the first music award. I've ever won outside of academic things, yeah, you know, yeah. which are entirely boring, I must yeah. confess. But uh, yeah, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. And it was a special night because uh, my guitarist travelled from Austria to play with me tonight. Oh my God. Yeah, so that was really good. So uh, Manfred Puchner came all the way, just one errand to play tonight. So it was a special treat all around. So we had a fun time. So thanks very much. All right. Once again, congratulations Thank and uh, good luck with the future, Denise. Thank you very Thank much, you. Robin. Bye. Okay, so we've come to the final award of the evening now, the big Lifetime Achievement Award. I am standing here with the winner and with a previous winner as well. A veteran. A veteran. I've been I here before. You before me. I was a Lifetime Achievement Award winner years ago, so that means I should be dead by now. <laughs> so I'm a sort of a young, a young no, 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 version of the Lifetime ago. Achievement. I think you've one or two years left in you yet, you old dog. <laughs> <laughs> So now, Philomena, another award, but this time your award tonight. How does it feel to win the Lifetime Achievement Award? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Robin, I'm absolutely delighted. Yeah. Brilliant. And 
I don't know what, uh, there's no, not a word to say, but what Let can I say? say this? Can I just say, there's not many can stand up there on their own and sing on their own and get them to wave the little candles. Of course, two songs in one night from you we had, and we weren't yeah, expecting no, that either. No music. Yeah. yeah now, I'll have to say, I really, I have enjoyed tonight, I must say, and thanks a million. It's the first time, I, I really, I'm delighted because, you know, it's, it's a wee bit different yeah. for me. And the only thing is that everyone who appeared tonight sang two songs, but you weren't supposed to sing at all. And you sang two songs too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll tell you before the nature we might sing three. I might sing three or four. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw Philip Meek, well, one of the last times I saw her, we were by uh, had a wee session upstairs in the Europa Hotel, and Paul Brady was playing the guitar, and uh, Philip Meek suggested that perhaps his chords were not what they should be. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Paul, I said, if you don't know the song, I said, don't bother your don't ass. Bother your ass. <laughs> Well, actually, the session starts right now. We've done all our awards, and uh, we're all going to go and party the night away now. now I want to see y'all on y'all baddest behavior. Lend me some sugar.